really nice tracer. Uh, it is completely standard. Um, you know, standard exhaust, standard air filter. Um, so we're going to do the final one now, and then I'll talk for everything that we've achieved. <laughs> So this more sorry this afternoon when we started mapping uh, the base run uh, 95 horsepower uh, red line and I'll just show you the fuel and so yeah basically the idea of it is to get to as close as this red dotted line uh, which is optimum AFR air fuel ratio so anything below is rich uh, and then you go above the line is lean so as you can see we're running very very rich before. Um, I don't really understand why it was running so so rich normally they, they run really really lean so what we've done is we've more or less sort we've just run it on that line just tad lean here and there uh, but that's how it just wanted to go just to get that smoothness of this power curve here um, we've also done the electronic throttle um, which is massively restricted on this model as you can see it uh, only revs out to eight and a half thousand revs um, a standard in fifth and sixth gear this is um, so now obviously we've opened it up and it now revs to I think it's 11,250 so just over two oh, I can't think, just over two thousand more revs uh, no more nearly three thousand more revs so. is that safe though yeah it's completely safe yeah you're not actually changing the rev limiter because um, what happens is uh, you'll get a, a sort of should be set you'd think it's 100% throttle is 100% wide open so basically what happens is it gets to eight and a half thousand revs and it's basically zero so it doesn't go past that physically the throttle um, so you open that up and then it revs out to its actual rev limit which it says on the dash is 11,250 I think so why, why would Yamaha restrict it so much I think it's just just for purely road speed um, I think it's 120 mile an hour it can't go over um, so you open it up and then you turn the top speed limiter off as well, which we've done in the ECU, so it allows you to, to do that. Um, plus the ignition mapping side of it as well, where it's really restricted. Um, it's over 6,000 revs, so you just smooth that out and, it, and then that's how you get the smoothness of the graph then. So once you've done that, you match the fueling up with it and it gives you an amazing result of 110 brake horsepower, so massive 15 brake horsepower increase. Uh, absolutely massive on a standard bike. Um, no changes have been made by the customer. Um, and it just rides a million times better. Um, these models are just really bad for snatches, roll low down. Um, we've ironed all that out. Um, and yeah, you, you give him a power, a power gain, 15 horsepower, which you can feel it, um, you can hear it, it just accelerates and sort of, it sort of roars now, uh, straight through every single gear. Um, and you can sit there in fifth gear there's no surging uh, around 60 to 80 mile an hour, which there were before. So yeah, a million times better. So yeah, if you want yours in, please give us a call.